everybody, it's Tiffany and Arlen, the Patio Gardeners, and today we wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how you can make your own drip water irrigation system using recycled soda bottles. So in order to do this, you'll just need um, a couple of things. So the first thing you'll need is some type of plastic soda bottle. Uh, these are one liter size bottles, but the size that you use will be dependent on about how much water you want for the plant. So you could certainly um, use something smaller if you need less water. You could attempt to use a bigger bottle, like a two liter, but you would wanna make sure that the pot is big enough to support that. Um, and then you will need some sort of tool in order to create holes in the cap. So there's a couple options. One of the easiest ones, if you have enough uh, hand strength, is you could use something like a push pin or you could use um, a box cutter. Or if hand strength is an issue for you, um, you could use a, a small nail and a hammer. So any of these will work as long as you're getting the same results. So basically what you wanna do is when you're done using the soda bottle for its original purpose, go ahead and rinse that out. Uh, we like to remove the labels because it looks a bit nicer. And then you wanna take the lid off of it. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to be making holes in this surface uh, for the water to drip out of it. So um, you will probably want to experiment a little bit for which flow is right for the amount of moisture you want for your plants. But I would say start with less because you can always add more holes later. So if you want to use a box cutter, because that's what you have available, what you're going to want to do, and you're going to want to be very careful about this so that you don't cut yourself, is you're going to want to cut an X into the bottle in that kind of shape. And that'll provide plenty of water. It's much easier than trying to cut holes or anything like that. And you really just need to put just a little bit of pressure and then it's gonna pop through the plastic and then you can kind of drag it across like that. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see I don't know if it's coming in clear yeah. on the video, but so you'll do that in both directions until you have the X like so. So that's going all the way through then? Yes, it goes all the way through. And you may have to check to make sure it's going all the way through. I didn't quite get it all the way through, but um, you might have to put just a little bit extra force on it to get it through. So there we go, it went through that time. So if you don't have a box cutter, you don't want to use that. The other option um, is to take a push pin. And usually these days, the, the soda bottle caps don't have so much plastic that it's too difficult to do this. And you just press right through like that. And it's really easy to tell when you've made it all the way through because it pops right down for you. And you'll just want to keep doing that around till you have a good number of holes. If you're gonna be doing this one with kids, um, I would recommend using the push pin method with the kids, because that's probably the easiest way for them to not hurt themselves. The nail one is similar, but it requires less hand strength from you. You just wanna put the nail down on the top, hold it firmly, and then tap it until it goes through the plastic like so. So you'll just keep doing that until you've got a good number of holes in there. I'd say start with less and then add more if you need it. By the way, if you don't want a DIY solution, check the link in the description to see our reviews of some drip water irrigation systems that you can purchase that will achieve the same thing. All right, so now that we've filled our bottle with water, um, we can go ahead and put it in our plant. So it's good to just, if it's your first time, just give it a check to make sure that your holes actually went all the way through. And then what you wanna do is uh, bury it into the soil somewhere where it's not going to affect the roots of your plant or plants that are in there already. And you just wanna make sure that you bury it enough that the bottle can stand up. So in this case, we were able to just bury the, the top with the cap and the neck and then a little bit into the side, and that's enough to hold it up there for us. Um, so this works really well. You can use it for house plants when you go on vacation. You can also use it um, for outdoor plants that are in containers. Um, 
in similar situations if you're traveling or you don't want to water every day. Um, this works really well and it's super easy to make. So that's everything. Uh, if you have any questions, just post them below in the comments. Uh, during the summer, we do videos every week updating on how our gardening is going. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from us, hit the subscribe button below and thank you for watching.